Hey Fantastic You, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome, glad to have you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can be friends. We are painting again today, playing with the split cups. So these are the ones from Michaels and we're not using two. I'm just showing you what I did to one of them. So this is how the split cup comes minus the paint stains in there, but there's no spout along the pouring edge. They just kind of come to their points and fall off. I took my Dremel and the little circular attachment, I don't know what it's called, and just kind of remove some of that plastic. So we'll see if it pours a little better. And that's really only to start with. You know, I could have really messed this up and totally destroyed the split cup. I'll feel really bad if I did. But we are playing with pinks today. Well, pink, many shades of pink and white. I'm going to redo the lollipop painting and I'm hoping that it's going to come out looking more like a flower. That's my hope and guess. So it mixed up a lot more paint this go around try my best not to spill. So our first one was titanium white. Our next one is titanium white with a little bit of primary red. That's how I got this very light pink color. Pour it in there. Very nice pink. Looks very nice next to the white. Once they flatten out a bit in there, I might come back and add some more colors. Our next one is just light pink. These are all Liquid X paints. So this one has more of a peachy undertone to it. And again, there's only so, only so many shades of pink. So you gotta kind of mix them up. I can get all these pretty much filled to the top. We're working on a bigger canvas today, a 14 inch by 14 inch. Decided to switch it up. Okay, our next color is primary red with a little bit of titanium white. A darker. Well, this is going to be like the medium shade of pink. Oh, there goes my furnace, just turned on. We're in the midst of a bit of a winter snowstorm in my neck of the woods. Oh, I can't wait for spring. Okay, our next color is medium magenta. So I know this has a bit more of a purpley undertone to it but I think with the other pinks that pink undertone is really going to show up. Now I forgot to bring with me I had a little sheet that I wrote down kind of how many grams of each color that I made. The outside ones are about um, 50 grams, and then I think the middle one is 80 or 90 grams. I just kind of went up by increments of like eight to 10 grams. Most of this was just guessing on my behalf. Okay, our next color is the darker magenta. Again, I can never say the first word of that one. Quin... Quinacridone, <laughs> if I'm saying it right. Oh, these are just lovely shades. Now, the reason I think this is going to look like a flower 
is the lollipop one. When I look at it, I can see the shape of a flower in it. But because of the yellows, oranges, reds versus the greens, blues, and purples, they contrast quite a bit. So it gives that lollipop effect. Okay, our last one is Quinacrido magenta with a bit of ivory black in it. So I didn't want to do black black, but I definitely wanted a color, a, a darker color to give it a bit of that pop. Okay, I think our middle one could use a little bit more, and our peach one. They have flattened out a little bit. There we come. There we go. Jeez. Like I'm a pro at this. I've only had these split cups for a couple days now. When did I get them? I think Friday. Yeah, I got them on the Friday. And this is my third attempt using them. Okay. There we go. Perfect. Move this. Okay, so what I've done, because my cake spinner is a 12 inch. Normally I put my pins on the corners. I put them this way so the fatter part of them right there is what sits on the cake spinner. There we go. And the reason for that is even though this is a 14 inch canvas, the 12 inch inside circle just isn't skinny enough to fit on the inside of the frame. So I've also done up, uh, this is about 180 grams of white, and we're gonna put down a white base coat. Okay, so I'm gonna pour in the center, spin around the outside, and hopefully we get a beautiful pink flower. Wish me luck. Oh, such pretty colors. I'm usually not a big pink fan, but these colors together, they look so nice. Spinning this around. I think that uh, light rose or rose pink, whatever it was called, I think that one actually looks really nice. And see a little bit of it in there. And that darkened magenta. Mm, pretty, pretty. Well, if this ends up not looking like a flower, worst case, it's going to look like a pink lollipop. <laughs> oh, my hand is moving. So, so pretty. I'm not going as, uh, as fast as I was with the lollipop because I do want to get a bit of definition of petals.
You know what I forgot to do? I forgot to torch the weight. I looked right at it when I need to torch that. Wow. We're slowly getting to the end. Yeah, that uh, darkened magenta is looking black right now. But we know it's not black. You saw it when I put it in the cup. Oh, it takes a long time to get all the paint out of here. Every time it seems like I'm at the end, it's like, nope, still some paint left. We got to stretch it out pretty far, which I don't think, again, we're going to have an issue with that. But I must say, I am loving playing with these pour cups. Okay, I want the center to be a little messier so it looks like the petals kind of folded in. So a flower that's just bloomed but you can't see the center. little bit of paint out. It's coming down to quite the dribble. There we go. There. Whew. That was hard work. Now I'm not 100% centered. So let's try and center this. That looks a bit better. Okay, let's start spinning out. See what happens. Going over one edge. Very nice. I'm not going too, too hard on the spinning just because it's teetering on there. It's looking pretty neat so far. I do want to get over all the corners. I don't want any white space. I want it to more look like a close up picture of a flower. Slowly but surely getting there. We're about to go over that one corner. Oh, that's looking so pretty. Let's give it a quick torch. I can see a lot of bubbles. pull it 
this way a bit. This one's definitely lots of gentle spinning. <laughs> but we are over one corner. And pretty much over a second corner. Come on, just come out this way. Again, not doing heavy spinning. That would certainly spread the paint out a lot quicker. Well, we're getting close. Got two corners. Two corners that are misbehaving. Okay. Yeah, those two corners are still misbehaving. I don't really want to stretch it, but I feel like I might have to. Uh, there's still pretty thick paint there. Just tilting it down towards this side and maybe it will pull out that way a bit better. a little bit more. I'm gonna stretch it just a little bit. I know you're screaming, don't do it. Now it's getting it back on there. There we go. Okay. Gotta convince it to come over this edge. I'm going to wet it down. Ah, make it a mess. Make it a mess. I gave that one a bit more oomph. I felt like it needed more oomph. Oh, it's almost over the edge. little bit more along this one. I'm just wetting it down. Whoa, get back here. It's moving on me. I still have quite a bit of paint on here. running low on areas to spin from. So I gotta spin from underneath. Well, this edge is the edge I want. Pulled over. It's the only problem with a bigger canvas that's bigger than the cake spinner. It gets harder to spin. Good grip on there. That didn't work. Did not work. Where's my edge? Looking for that edge that's giving me grief. There it is. 
Just need it to go over a bit more. It's like right there. I know you can't see it, but trust me. Because I keep touching it, it's a little blobby. What are we doing for paint on the surface? Not sure, but we definitely need a couple more bubbles popped. Not going for cells on this one, but I know they're going to kind of show up regardless. Okay, this is my troublemaker corner. I think one more spin and we're good. It shifted. Wasn't my plan. Well, let's get this stopped. I think I can zoom you in a little bit closer. Let's get you zoomed in. paint all over my fingers. This is not working. So there. So what do you think? Do you see a flower in there? I definitely see a flower in there. You know, like the flower is quite big because that's the center and it's just opening up. So I got the center that I wanted. I'm very happy with that. It is a bit more circular, but I still think it looks like a flower. At least I see a flower. And that's what I was going for. So yay, I got what I was going for. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Until next time.